What's good? What's happening with y'all? First time reacting to Justical. Just, Justical? Hope I'm saying that right. Justical. First time reacting. Listen, bro. If y'all want to see more, let me know down below. Okay. Um, I stumbled upon his uh, channel on my uh, suggestion feed randomly. And I forgot exactly which video it was. Then I went through his channel. I was looking at the type of videos he makes. And he makes videos kind of like Jamari, Sunny V2. Patrick CC, you know, stuff like that. I was like, fire, you know what I'm saying? Fire. Shout out to Justico, bro. Uh, original link in the description, of course, to everything I react to. XQC, how XQC's ex girlfriend ruined his life. Is this recent? Because I didn't know he had a girl or ex girl. I didn't know there was anybody playing part in his career. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. December 6th is the first time we met, but then New Year's was when he realized that he was gonna love me forever. This clip right here shows the inception of a story about how XQC met his girlfriend to depth for the first time. However, little did Felix know, it was going to be the beginning of eventual trauma, lawsuits, and involvement with the police. Conducting a full interview with the police, having to go to court, okay, and quite early fight for my life actually in today's video we're diving deep into the nah. events that led up to this moment and find out why this relationship ultimately ended up ruining his life starting at the beginning of their first breakup now before all of this happened wait, wait, ruining wait. his life starting at the beginning of their first can i pause damn i always tell you guys how i feel and what's happening it's important to get stuff off my chest so i can focus 100 percent. me and sammy are apart please make an effort not to speculate pro prod for answers most importantly, do not harass Adept the best. She will always have my respect. Break up. Now, before all of this happened, XQC and Adept appear to be quite a happy couple, despite them and their audience hiding it behind the label, just roommates. And even though this became a huge inside joke on the channel with the couple becoming wildly popular in internet culture, they started- I've never seen her in his videos, bro. Never arguing more and more throughout 2021 with the relationship slowly beginning to show its first signs of trouble i know you're gonna try so hard to justify behind your character and i know your chat's gonna make you feel you're incredibly justified you're gonna double down on it okay but it, they don't know the sh that you did the other day in the room out of character no strings no game involved they don't know However, arguments like these are very normal in a relationship, especially when you live together, and it didn't necessarily mean that they would immediately break up over it. Yet, to everyone's surprise, mm. it did actually end up becoming a breaking point for both in August, as they announced their split on Twitter. And while a lot of people had their opinions ready, they handled it professionally and kept it private, not giving in to any rumors and dealing with it behind closed doors. This proved to be a good solution, as they got back together in September, and at the end of the year they even confirmed it officially by releasing their story on how they met and fell in love together a whole year it officially by releasing their story i know this is a screenshot but she looking real devious there bro story on how Insane. they met and fell in love together a whole year passed without any drama or fallouts happening between the two and it seemed like the lovebirds finally managed to patch things up once and for all but this conclusion was far from the truth as their entire life suddenly came crashing down on the 17th of september in 2022 last year, last year bro i swear i've never seen her in any of his videos bro or I was cornered into choosing between um, family and Sammy, and unfortunately, what happened is that. I if you choose, man, oh my God, bro, I, I feel bad for people who gotta go through this shit. Having to choose between your family and your girl or your man's, nobody should go through that shit, bro. No one should be going through that shit at all. I was cornered into choosing between um, family and Fuck Sammy, no. and unfortunately, what happened is that I I kind of just show his family Good. in this clip xqc Good. announced that they had once again broken up while explaining the situation and the debt was far from happy with this announcement you see sammy wanted the fans to discover this breakup themselves over time as she didn't want to talk about the traumatic situation that happened beforehand well felix didn't want the secret to ruin his mood and stream for months so it ultimately ended in xqc leaking 
making this decision and adept booting up a live stream herself where she told a pretty watered down story of what happened. As a response, Felix reacted to the stream and gave away even more details of the situation. That was just a sign of it. put it public. You know what I'm saying? First it was him. Obviously being transparent to his support transparent with his supporters and stuff, because I'm sure if they never came out and mentioned it, they were gonna be in his chat. Where's Adept? Where's that where's your girl? Where's your girl? We wanna see her, where she at, how she been. Just annoy him during streams. You know what I'm saying? Um And then obviously she came out because she feels like, you know, I have a side of the story to all of this as well. Let me let me tell the people. And of course, he's, he was going to respond. Of course. You feel me? There's two sides to every story, y'all. Remember that. As there was apparently a major fight between Sammy and the family of Felix. Before a family dinner, a crossfire happened between Felix, Sammy, Felix's brother, and his girlfriend. After which his brother and his girlfriend decided to move out. There was a big crossfire, okay, of both sides. It'd be me, my girlfriend, him, his girlfriend. It was a, it was a big crossfire that ended up him moving out and be on his own, his girlfriend. And he was, he was very hurt by it, okay? He was very, he was very hurt and he was, he was very, very sad. This resulted in the dinner plans changing last minute to only Felix, his dad and his brother going alone. And this put XQC in a difficult situation. As he wanted to be there for his brother at dinner, yet also wanted to later support Sammy when he got home. But yep. the family was so rude to adapt that it escalated in an all-out war. And XQC wanted none of it. Sammy asked Felix to defend her, but he failed to do so as he tried to escape the situation as fast as possible, trying to cool down, and it resulted in it being the final nail in the coffin for their relationship. XQC ended up taking a lot of the blame for this whole tragedy. If you call whatever you want, I fixed it out, I failed, I, I didn't do right, that is correct. That is correct. Okay. In the basis of a relationship, doing the right thing to set up a relationship, I did not do that one thing. Also stating that he felt cornered and had to choose between a debt and his family. And he That's unfortunate, bro. And it's sad that he just said, forget all of this. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to step away from family, but I'm, all, I'm also step away from you. You know what I'm saying? Being, feeling like you're cornered to choose family over your person, bro, should never be a thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if it was me in this type of situation, um, <clears throat> I would have, you know, went to my brother and talked it out you feel me i mean we don't really know the details i'm just gonna assume the brother and uh, uh his girl were back and forth or his girl and the brother's girl were back and forth i would have went to my brother apologized whether it was my fault or her fault you know what i'm saying try to squash that out then i'm gonna go to my girl probably most likely gonna tell her let's go home this is bad timing the vibes is ruined Let's go home. Let's talk. Talk it out with her, you know what I'm saying? Um, and after that, just don't have her around the family, unfortunately. Because who's to say more shit wouldn't happen if he brings her around the family again after that incident, you know what I'm saying? Um, I probably would have gone about it that way instead of just leaving her completely, you know what I'm saying? Um... And it's 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 it's, it's going to suck regardless though. Not not being able to bring your girl to the to your family events. That's fucking ass. You know what I'm saying? That's so ass, but I also do not want to go to stay with her and miss out on the family events cuz I want to go to that, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's just it's tough. It's tough. I do see where he decided to leave though. Um it's just being in the middle when it shouldn't be that way, you know? He ultimately decided to go for his family. The two ended up going their own ways, and it meant that Felix was now single. But this new relationship status didn't last long, as after going on a few dating streams, he met his new girlfriend Nixie, with whom he was not afraid to share their intimate connection online. The new relationship obviously caused a lot of tension with Adept, and after various allegations and controversies, the couple eventually broke up, with cheating allegations being at the heart of these accusations. She just thought that I probably cheated and I have nothing to fucking hide it okay XQC obviously denied it yeah I feel like girls always resort to that cheating shit no matter how fast or slow you 
you think you're uh no matter how fast or slow you move on from one person to the next they're always gonna resort to cheating they're always gonna think oh she was he was talking to her while we were together or before we broke up the first time or I, or after the first time breakup like they always resort to the the worst thing possible bro when it's not even the case did. And gave us the actual reason for their breakup that Nixie did something that was personally unacceptable for him, but eventually didn't go into further detail. Nixie caught herself in the middle of their drama as Adept even went to XQC's house and got permission to scroll through his phone to confirm herself that Felix didn't cheat on her with Nixie during their relationship. However, his new girlfriend wasn't the only victim of this situation, because there was a massive hostage case going on during all of this. It didn't involve anyone being locked up in a basement, but it did involve a garage as Adept apparently had legal ownership of XQC's McLaren 720S Spider which he paid $300,000 for. The purchase happened almost a whole year earlier as Felix proudly showed it off in a Forza Horizon Do not put your shit with nobody and I want to say even if you're married don't do that shit bro Married or not, do not put your fucking shit under nobody's name, bro. <sighs> That's so unfortunate, dog. Stream. Yet, there was one problem. He didn't have a US driver's license, as he's from Canada, which meant that he couldn't register the car in his own name. <sighs> After the breakup... So I fucking get it, bro. Why get it? Why, go why not go through the process of, you know getting your u.s license or having it transferred or get an international license or something do something so you can put it under your name you know what i'm saying or buy the mclaren or have it shipped to canada or something bro i don't know i don't know the rules and all that shit right i'm just saying like it could have been different all different uh outcomes to all of this up, Sammy confirmed that she actually had this ownership and occasionally used this card to provoke a reaction, even insinuating with an Instagram story that she went on a date in his car as there were flowers on the passenger side, with all of this happening on XQC's birthday. Whoa! Nah. I, I, I hate it. When shit happens when I'm on stream, I hate it. I, I know what to do. I know what to do. And at one point, he even had to freeze his credit cards. I mean, dude, I froze my credit cards. I did. I, I, I did. I don't know. What to do. While also having to ask Aiden Ross if he could park the car in his garage. The whole situation became a complete mess not only Bro. emotionally but also legally. Yet, it was nothing compared to what would come next. As 2023 was the year where XQC's life would get completely destroyed. Destroyed? I wouldn't say destroyed. I think he's doing well for himself. He got a, a kick deal, went to kick from Twitch, making fucking millions okay double digit millions all right let's see let's see let's see i want to say ruin though on January 7th, XQC's Twitch stream was bizarrely cut short after Adept arrived at his house and claimed that he was violating a court order Apparently, Felix locked Sammy out of the account for a car that she had full authority to by changing the password. But this didn't catch the attention of fans at all. No, they heard Adept say court order, which meant that they might have been married all this time. After some digging, they found a legal document confirming these rumors. But excuse Confirm. They were married. What? The matter of the marriage of Samantha Lopez and Felix. What? You see the night, all of it. I will tell you with 100% confidence, okay? I am not married. I was never married. I would probably never get married for the rest of my life, okay? It's just, it's just not me. I don't see any value in it, okay? So why is it that the whole situation was so vague? Why did Sammy file for divorce? Well, Felix denies they were even married in the first place. Well, it was due to a thing called common law marriage. Now, common law marriage is the idea that two people are married in all but name, despite never having formally registered the fact. And while the US... 
specifically a death petition for divorce is under the assumption of what is called common law marriage with her lawyers tasked with proving that the couple meets the criteria for it. Common law marriage is the idea that two people are married in all but name, despite never having formally registered the fact. What kind of bullshit is that? What is that? So if you're in a relationship, you're, you're technically common law marriage. This, this is what happens if you're in a relationship. What? People are married in all but name, despite never having formally registered the fact. And while the US has abolished this way of marriage in most states, there are still some states where this can be contracted, including Texas. Oh, shit. And that's where they're at, right? most states there are still some states where this can be contracted including texas a debt's petition for divorce was filed under this form of marriage and attorney tom gave a great explanation as to which evidence she would have to provide so she will have to show that one they agreed to be married two that they lived together after they agreed to be married and three they held themselves out to others that they were husband and wife this meant that the debt only had to prove that they told verified witnesses that they were married and a youtuber named henry resilient found her exhibits of proof in the court documents. She provided Discord messages, a YouTube video mentioning this common law marriage, provided a copy of the lease proving they lived together in Texas, and also got her family and even the housekeepers involved to testify. As a result, she demanded lawyer fees, spousal support, exclusive use of the BMW. Wait, 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 wait. As a result, she demanded lawyer fees, spousal support, exclusive Spousal support. Exclusive use of the BMW and the Tesla, a $500,000 bond in case Felix messed up and wanted to prevent him from using his money to gamble or buy expensive clothing and jewelry. All while simultaneously filing a restraining order against him and them both not being allowed to discuss the litigation. The court ended up denying most of these demands, but gave her temporary exclusive access to the BMW and the Tesla, got Felix to sign the agreement of him not gambling, and approved both his and Sammy's request of not speaking about the matter on stream. Yet. Be careful who you guys fall in love with, bro, because oh my god, what a mess. What a fucking mess this is. And the fact that she was looking for all of those things. Granted, most of them got denied. But just the fact that she went for all of that, bro. What? But this didn't mean that both of them would be silent on the matter. No. In fact, Adept's mission became more apparent than ever, as she wanted to make sure that XQC and his empire eventually got completely demolished. You see, many were speculating that Samantha had no solid case to win this lawsuit, as Felix's lawyer had a great defense. He said, just to be clear, I want to make sure I understand. XQC never told you that he and Sammy were married, correct? And her answer is no, not directly. This is her mom getting questioned by his lawyer. <laughs> but she didn't give up on her story, showing a wedding ring, luring him back and kicking him out of his own house and finding the... That's probably a regular ass ring she just threw on here. Perfect opportunity to destroy his image when he found himself in some hot water. Bro. You literally do it to enrich yourself. You're a multi-millionaire and you steal content from small creators and you don't give a f about their rights or what they oh, want. This was and then recent. your only justification is, oh yeah, you can come chase me down and complain and try to get my attention so I can pay you for the that I stole. Yes, when XQC got called out for doing yep. lazy react content and yep. profiting of YouTubers, he decided to debate Ethan Klein on the H3H3 podcast. This obviously didn't end in a professional conclusion, with both of them bickering a lot. But Felix <laughs> came off as a bit of an egotistical chat when he flexed his watch and his house in Ethan's DMs, which the host of the podcast leaked afterwards. Adept immediately went like- That was, cor that, that was corny what XQC did, I ain't gonna lie. I have to make fun of him. I can't even f***ing hear you. 
and well she only turned more fans against her after this stream with them labeling it as a manic episode the worst was yet to come sammy continued using the mclaren as manipulative and controlling tactics and also filed another lawsuit accusing him of sa in this case she used the situation of another one of xqc's ex-girlfriend's friend to her own advantage using the story of him grabbing the butt of friend during them sleeping as a starting point for her own case but not only did friend debunk her claims and you know what she's doing she used that what i said and is trying to is this friend oh it is friend yeah i see a credit friend what claims and you know what she's doing she used that what i said and is trying to paint felix as like a, an essay like that he essayed me she tried she she quite literally took that and tried to twist it and fit into a fake narrative she's fucking psycho bro she is literally psycho are you kidding me? The judges also disagreed as they closed the criminal investigation due to a lack of evidence. Bro. Yet, Adept was still not backing down. And the person that keeps causing confusion and chaos in all of this wants to cause confusion and chaos so that you're outraged at me. And also indirectly insinuated that XQC broke into her home, filed a protective order for family violence against him after spending the night with him in Texas, and recently exposed him for paying his head moderator for sleeping with him, ending in adept leaking messages and doxing the mod in question on stream, which he ultimately might have got banned for. The entire Damn. situation is. Look at that shit. Getting banned and shit, bro. Look, bro. If you're out here t treating people like shit or trying to ruin somebody's life, bro, karma's a bitch, okay? Karma is a bitch. In the slightest way or in the most massive way, karma is a bitch. All right? completely messed up and has ruined the life of both parties either way the costs of the lawsuit set up both fan bases are fighting against each other their friend group has their opinions split and innocent people involved are getting dragged into the drama while having their privacy breached xqc claimed that it has traumatized him and that he trust nobody bro trust absolutely nobody the fact that other people's business is being showcase to the world put made public like ain't shit private dog nothing's private everybody fucking talks you cannot trust nobody might never no even one. recover from this whole ordeal but what was even the main reason for this complete assassination of his character and brand well it apparently came from felix not including her in his will i was kind of like i was like yeah i don't i don't i don't feel really good and whatever and then if i if i die if i check out or like i want people to get stuff and that person was not on the wheel the moment where i'm like really vulnerable at my kind of lowest like I, it's kind of like a oh wow like like i'm i'm kind of i'm so scared I, I'm, I'm running a wheel down hearing him just say like okay then that happens and then what do i get however things are how could that be your first response to somebody having a right a will bro what do I get? That says a lot about her, bro. What do I get? This man is telling you I don't feel good. If I die, I want people to get stuff. What do I get? That's fucking absurd, bro. Somebody, can somebody tell me what happened though? Why he was, why he said all that? You know what I'm saying? Like, was he going through like some health stuff? looking better for him day by day as he got a protective order lifted and had lengthy interviews with the police that resulted in them and the court basically siding with felix yet he's still Good. in the process of pursuing justice fighting to officially get his house back in which adept is living rent free get his cars back and vow to never settle meaning that no settlement money will ever be paid to the other party present or future it seems like xqc is slowly but surely putting an end to this madness and winning the case but it is far from over yet and even then if he wins the case the emotional damage stress and trauma that Still this has there. caused him will probably follow him for the rest of his life even into other relationships and i was just gonna say that bro this man as much as he probably wants a partner bro he's, he's probably not even gonna risk it because you never fucking know with people bro
I'm not sure if he will ever trust to marry a woman ever again. For now, he doesn't have to worry about that though, and continues dating around. Also streaming daily, bettering his health by going to the gym, and continuing his successful career. So, what do you think about the whole situation? Did they actually have a common law marriage? Or was this just a false narrative for financial gain? Let me know in the comments. Bro. I don't know, I feel like there were signs where that common law marriage shit was not even the case at all. It was not the fucking case because they was going through it way before that shit. And then even after, what do I get? Man's talking about his will, what do I get? The fuck, bro? Nah, she is psycho, dog. She is fucking psycho. I feel so bad for the dude that... Dude, like... How's he ever going to trust someone again that's so messed up? At least I can wipe the tears with 100 bills, I guess. <laughs> fucking A, bro. That's so weird. People are so fucking evil and weird, bro. And how Justico said, living rent-free in his house. Is that true? Is she still at the crib, bro? That's fucking weird, bro. That's so fucking weird to me. I'm sorry. Listen, bro, let me know what y'all thought, though. That's my reaction. If y'all enjoyed this video, like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'm out.